welcome to the topic 4 of the series understanding C program execution environment in user space. In this session we will be discussing about the linkers address and the kernels address or the kernel allocated address and how the mapping is set up. Right? Next. Oh, we have to answer uh, these questions. Uh, I think in this session you will sure get answers for all these questions. While in Science address, uh, at least uh, if not all the reasons, at least we will dig into one reason and the other reasons we will discuss in the right context in the coming sessions. The rest, what is the name of the address? For sure, you'll get to know. When will memory be allocated? Yes, we will answer that. Can the programmer see the memory address? Million dollar question. We will try to see whether we can get it or not. Next, the compiler's view of application. We will start now uh, debating on why not compiler, why not something else. Okay, compiler will have a very short sighted view of the application. Suppose an uh, infamous hello world program had only one printf statement or printf function, right? It was invoking a printf function, but the compiler could only ha know the definitions which are defined in this code app.c. When it converts into app.o, the app.o will only contain the machine code of the the, uh, functions defined in app.c it would not know it, it would not have any information about the printf why it should have information because when it says call some function the address of that function should be known to the compiler which it cannot know hence we can straight away rule out that compiler is not in a position to assign address for code and data scenario 2 what if a program spans two files right a program can span n number of c files in even in this case compiler at a time will only have a view of a single c file it only uh, takes input as one c file generates an relocatable object file it will not have a view of the other file hence we can rightly reject uh, or isolate the compiler taking responsibility of assigning the address. Next, linkers view of application and library. When it comes to linker, it will have a view, a complete view of all the relocatable object files which have to be part of the application as well as the library. In this case, app.o has a reference to the printf linker build time linker will have a view of libc dot spo dot six which has a definition of printf linker will organize to resolve the printf in app dot wo i repeat mark my words linker organizes to resolve the symbol right uh, why I was very particular about organizers is linker directly will not do it. The details of which we will see in the coming sessions. Next. Then what is this address that the linker assigns to the symbol? Does it have a range of addresses? That Does it have a uh, upper limit or it's some random number? For sure, no. First, the name of this address, we name it as virtual address because the addresses are not associated to a physical, tangible elements unlike in the physical address context. This is assigned, associated to a symbols which are not physical, hence the name virtual address. Next, what is the length and range of this virtual address space? Is there a determining factor which will define this length. Yes, the size of the processor register will determine this. One of the register in the processor called program counter or instruction pointer will hold the virtual address space. 
in the virtual address space execution environment the processor will generate virtual address hence the size of this processor register will determine the range and length on a 32 bit machine the size of the processor register length will be 32 bit hence the length of the virtual address space will be 2 power 32 that is 4 gb and the range of virtual address will be from 0 followed by 7 zeros to f followed by 7 f's hence linker has this address range to be associated to the program symbols linker will have a instance for every program or in other words every program will have its own instance of this address space in which the linker associates the program's code and data i repeat every program on a 32 bit machine will have its own instance of this address space next to come back to the context of address space in the last session i had discussed on this and i had told that again we will revisit this in the right context and this is the right context to get back to that i had given example of three instances of the same address space exactly the same thing what's happening now in the uh, linkers context linker will have an instance same instance of this address space for every application for which it associates the respective code and data for example in the context of application one linker will have this address range or this instance of address range to be associated to the this app one's code or data app two will have its own instance of this address space again the linker has all freedom to associate this addresses to this app 2's code and data the same thing repeats for app 3 i think now you got a link from whatever we had discussed in the previous session on the context of address space next where is this virtual address stored in my experience of interacting with uh, young engineers or engineers this is a common question raised or most of them had a misconception of that virtual address is stored in the hard disk that is a very very wrong notion of holding the idea that virtual address will be stored in the hard disk we will now try to break that notion by bring out this analogy I am taking an analogy of an engineering college uh, in the Indian context. I am taking example of an Indian engineering college where a typically an engineering college will have CS branch, ENC branch and civil branch. Suppose they decided for a year uh, the register number of a student will be from 1001 to 1200 for every branch. They are having uh, the same instance of this address space for every branch 1001 to 1200 will is that guaranteed that all 200 will turn up and join the college may or may not be in this case it is not we have uh, section a and section b summit together i have 110 students in the enc department i have 140 students in the civil department i have 170 students joining of 200 then how are these numbers stored section a and section b will have its own registers and the department will have a department register which will have all 110 names along with their numbers where are we getting these numbers these numbers are from decimal number system we just make an entry in the register saying that these numbers are used and the rest are unused rest of the numbers are they stored anywhere no 
when it is required we make an entry 111 if some other joins otherwise we have a number from 1001 2000 and 101110 right the same thing with E and C department right I have 140 students so the register number from 1001 to 1140 will be stored the remainings are remaining numbers are not stored and left open the same thing with civil engineering right likewise the address space in the context of a program is 0 followed by 7 0 to f followed by 7 f is the application consuming the entire address space may or may not be <coughs> in this context the application one is only consuming 10 mb that means all 4 gb address space app one is only consuming 10 mb then where is it stored while app one is executing and got into a form of a process kernel has maintained something called process control block in this process control block a register is maintained like uh, the engineering college department register where it will have all the addresses that has been used by this application similarly for application 2 again when application 2 he has turned into a process while executing kernel will have a separate register maintained for app 2 where it will have an uh, entry of all 12 MB addresses that are being used by this application similarly kernel would have maintained application 3's addresses 4 MB 400 MB of addresses used by the application 3 is maintained in the PCB register for app 3 the remaining addresses are not stored anywhere and it is left open right this is how the storage uh, of uh, virtual address is maintained next okay what about allocation of memory allocation of memory is done at the time of execution dot slash app1 now the control goes to the kernel kernel will now allocate physical memory to house the application's code and data and now by the act of reading this file which contains apart from code and data the virtual addresses associated with it kernel is now having both physical memory information about this code and data as well as virtual address hence it is incumbent on the kernel to set up the mapping between the virtual address and the physical memory and once it sets up the mapping while app1 is executing he will place that mapping in the mmu hardware this is where the kernel at the time of execution of app1 will place the mapping of virtual address to physical address now you see processor generates a virtual address gets the corresponding physical memory address here and that is placed on the address bus and the write instruction or the data is read back in the data bus if we take a specific instance now here you go addresses from the two instances one app, app one other for app 2 same address from two different instances of the virtual address is being mapped to two different physical memory location if we have a quick look back at what we had done this was our application app 1 where i had initialized a global variable to 44 and i was printing the address and the value here you go i will build this execute I get the same address same thing here initializing g underscore var 2 to 64 
printing the address and the value and pausing the the application oh sorry uh, minus o app2 app2.c both applications are active in the memory generating the same virtual address in two different instances of the same address space but executing in a different memory location can we see the memory address v means the programmer or the user can we see the physical memory address no no and never never ever you can see the physical memory address unless you are programming in the kernel we will see in the coming sessions how to see the physical memory right next we just have the representation of uh, the complete uh, address uh, uh, generation of both app1 and app2 app1 generates this virtual address which gets which maps to the physical memory and then fetches the data right app2 the same virtual address gen map to different physical memory and fetching the data value this is how the virtual address gets mapped to the physical memory address next did we get the answers for these questions why linker assigns address to the program symbols because linker has a complete view of the entire program similarly did we get the answers for the next three questions i will leave it for you to figure that out with this we have come to a logical conclusion of one part of the program execution environment to continue we will be waiting for your valuable feedback until then goodbye but before we leave we will see what is coming next what is the need of virtual address what are the other entities which will make the program complete and can i have a look at the complete program and the addresses that are associated to that what is heap and its address range what is stack and its address range right and till then try to solve this i have initiated a array of three elements indexed 0 1 and i am trying to access a of 3 will it work let us try it out oh it worked let me try out with 30 will this work looks like it works let me try out with 300 will this work oh it's working 3000 oh with the history of execution we see this also to work but it will not work yes then what is the the end where this works oh it doesn't know let me try out with uh, 1200 will this work oh no what about with 100 will this work keep your fingers crossed no then what else will this work i guess it should work and it works yes what is the end of this why it is working why it is not working we will get back to you to solve this mystery again before that we would be waiting for your feedback till then take care of you bye bye Thank you.